today? Well, the, the opportunities here at the zoo were pretty wide open, and uh, I've never done a bear, and I thought it w would be a good opportunity to see the live animal, do my uh, prepare work, and then have the, uh, the, the bear t to do the finish. And actually, my advisor in college said, in the gesture lies the magic, and I'm looking forward to having that, that jet, finding that gesture by observing the bear. So uh, this is a grizzly. Um, I started this yesterday, and the first thing I did on the project is uh, I, I, I make a, this, uh, this is for stability. It's an aluminum pipe that goes up here that makes this solid. It's so stout that I can, I can lift it, the bear, uh, in one piece and not have anything move. So uh, I start with the armature wire, and the armature wire is actually, armature is copper wire. And here's the gauge. I use copper because it's very malleable and it won't break. You can bend it and bend it and it always will stay together. It's a soft material. So I put the entire bone structure in copper wire and I marked every joint on the, on the bear. For example, this scapula, the grizzly, the grizzly has a big bold, the hump is a big strong scapula. And it's every one of these measurements, these bone lengths, I've measured so that when I get the volume of the clay on here, my points will be correct. If, if, I've, if you do your homework and you do it a step at a time, you do the armature, you do the muscles on top of the, of the uh, skeletal structure, and then if you put your final movement of the hair, you should wind up with the grizzly. And that's what I'm hoping for by tomorrow night. All right. Now this uh, this is the way that I started the project. Um, this is called the armature wire. This is the copper that I made reference to, the very uh, malleable, uh, easy to bend copper wire. This is the the uh, correct measurement proportions on a on a skeleton. Here shows the skeleton, actual skeleton of a of a grizzly bear. It's different than a, than a brown bear or a black bear, but these proportions I put in the armature. Here is a drawing of the bear seated, which I'm going to be sculpting. So this shows you the placement, uh, the, the location of the bone. So I, I establish points on the sculpture and, and proportion by the skeleton that I've created first. Secondly, I move on to the muscles. Now the muscles give the volume to the piece, and in coordination with the muscles is the growth of the hair, the lines of the, uh, uh, the direction of the hair, which that's like the frosting on the cake in the end. Uh, the hair will be fun to put on it. But these proportions are based upon the skeleton that I created in the armature. And these are drawings that have been done, a standing bear, all those proportions are exactly the same, but you can see the amount of volume. This is just the muscle. This is with the hair on it. Now, the next step is when you do animals, you, you want the volume, the life volumes, the, the, the roundness of the stomach, the roundness of the, the uh, top of the scapula. That's what the grizzlies are known for. So you get these points, and you get the volume on the animal. And in the end, when you get the directions of your hair, you should have a grizzly. So this will be the first one I've done. So it doesn't make any difference what animal you do. If you go through these creative steps so that everything is accurate and proportionate, at the last stage, you can elect to use any kind of surface. They could be completely smooth, or they could be uh, uh, richly textured and exaggerated. But in my opinion, the proportion of the animal is all that an animal is, is a number of proportions for mus musculature. Uh, more information, uh, the footprints on a grizzly bear as compared to a, a brown bear or black bear, uh, they're, they're, the pads on their feet, the bottom of their feet are different, their tracks. The claws on the grizzly bear, I just noticed here in the, in the bear that was swimming here at the zoo today, the claws are just tremendously large and different shape than a, the, the front claws of a, of a 
a black bear. Here's another, the proportions of the skeleton to the, the bear and the, and the musculature. So this is, this is the prerequisite, in my opinion, to having an accurate bear.